What's up guys, Captain Mike here. Quick update on the boat here. We secured our Simrad. It was pretty tough to get this thing. Granted, I did procrastinate a little bit, but I finally found one on West Marine and I got the warranty on it. So we got our 16 inch Simrad. This is gonna kind of be the hub for everything. It's gonna control our mapping, our sonar, our mercury. We can even hook up autopilot to it. Um, our radio, all kinds of stuff. I mean, the software on this thing is just absolutely awesome. And it also comes with a faster processor now. So typically, you know, compared to what you're used to, computers and maybe MacBooks and iPads and your iPhones, the electronics on your boat are usually a lot slower. But playing with this over at the local West Marine, I just noticed the thing zips now. It's got a faster processor on it. The screen resolution is great, just a nice picture. You can add the Seymour maps, just a very good unit. And I decided that it's just the perfect unit for me, especially with the size console that I have, the space that I have to work with. So we're gonna center that in there. It's gonna be nice right there in front of me. We'll be able to split screen. You can actually split screen, you know, multiple times. So if we wanna run like our Mercury vessel view, we can run sonar, we can run mapping, you can run multiple sonars. Um, I think it's gonna be a good fit. We also got a transducer coming. It was hard to find the transducer, but we found one in California. The guys here at Preferred Marine ordered it for me. Um, it should be here in a few days. They did not want to finish the plumbing until the transducer was here. And uh, it just makes installing the transducer a lot easier with the plumbing out of the way so that they can go in, you know, drill that hole. It's a through hole mount, so it's gonna be off the port side of the boat. I pretty much do all my cast netting off the port side while I'm driving. Um, I like to know that the fish are kind of right there, the bait is right there, everything is right there. So uh, through hole is gonna be nice. It also means that we're gonna be able to read bottom when we're on a plane pretty well. Um, a lot of advantages to through hole versus a transom mount, but I did consider the, uh, they call it the total scan transducer from Simrad. We'll probably end up adding that later on, but um, for doing what we do out in 100, 200 feet of water, I think that we're gonna like this transducer a lot better. I think it's also gonna be really nice when we're tarpon fishing, especially in the bays when the fish are suspended. We got a little bit of a wide cone there that's gonna help us pick up multiple fish and be able to target those fish. All right, I am so glad that we got this out of the way because trying to find one of these was tough and it was almost looking like I was gonna run the boat without electronics for a little while. Uh, this thing doesn't feel like it's worth you know five six grand but a lot of technology in this bad boy so last time i was in the shop here we laid out the rod holders as i saw fit with the plans of buying more rod holders well things changed gemlux is completely sold out of zeros 15s 30s you can't get anything so luckily i secured about 16 rod holders i think i got 16 or 18 all 15 degrees and my plan was to do about 10 up front and spread them around all over the boat 
However, now that I can't get any more, I'm gonna have to change up that plan a little bit. I don't think we'll put as many in the transom of the boat. We'll try to get as many on the gunnels that we can. You know, pretty much eight on each side. That's all we got to work with. And then when the time comes and they got more in stock, I'll be able to go ahead and, uh, you know, fill in the gaps. Okay, Roz, then you have your three here, so you can put your spinning rod uh, with your drip line okay. right there. And then you got a little bit of an angle for it. And you can put it, I use the big, I use the Shimano bait runners, but if you use a little red clip, okay. either way. Right here. Start this at 12. I mean, I would do 12 again. Top. Here, right here. Top. No, I'm just saying just to space it out, right? So it's 12, 12, 12, 12. 12. And that way, it's for the electric or for a drip rod? Yeah, for a drip if rod. If you put a drip rod, you get your best, the farther you can go, you get your best separation. You get 25 foot of the boat. It depends on your wind. Can you put your kite reel here or there? I think the most important part is working with, with this little space right here, right? And then we can just move these around, right? But yeah, they can definitely put one right here. So essentially... Part of the reason I put it forward is to get the best, most spread that you get. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm good with that. All right, so let's see. So we're going to start here. How awesome did this come out? This is our 16 inch Simrad screen here. This is gonna control our chart plotting, our mapping, our sounder, our mercury. You can add autopilot, you can add radar down the road. There's just grand central. As I get older, my eyes are getting a little bad and having a bigger screen, especially when you're going into unfamiliar waters, 
is going to be a huge help to really you know understand where we're going through channels and stuff like that so i'm excited that we got the 16 in here in here we do have room to add a vhf as well as a fusion radio here down the road we can even do a dry box here if we find we need that i left room up here so we're going to be able to put a vhf mic maybe even a cell phone holder here there's a couple companies that make them that you literally just stick them in there and they start charging your phone automatically you don't have to have any wires as much as i can help it i want no wires around here whenever you're digging through you know usb cables and stuff like that over here it's always a pain in the butt I just really like how the console's turning out here. I did lose a little sleep over it. I went back and forth over having two screens for redundancy, but I felt like on this particular boat, the way that I fish, you know, having the one screen, the way the console's set up, it's just made for it. And uh, I'm happy with the results. So I can't wait to try this bad boy, especially paired with the Mercury. We're gonna be able to see all our Mercury data in there, our speed, our tack, our fuel burn, all that stuff. And we're even gonna be able to switch to what's called exhaust mode, where you get to be able to hear that throaty V8, which is probably one of the top five reasons that I bought that motor. Just hearing that sound is just incredible. Um, so that's where we're at right now. Please guys, comment below. I wanna know what you think of my console layout so far, maybe what you would have done differently or what you would like on your custom boat build. I'm gonna be giving away a free shirt today. Actually, this hoodie that I'm wearing right now, it is our, it is our one and done hoodie. It's available on livebait.com, but I'm gonna be giving one away to you guys. Just comment below, I'll pick a winner at random, and I'll announce it in the next video. My name's Captain Mike. Everybody have a great day, tight lines.